Here's a quick tip on how to properly seal up your exhaust pipe on a nitro engine. First few times I did this, I did it completely wrong, so I figured I'd make a little video to uh, demonstrate the proper way to do it. Seal up your pipe. This is the method I've been using, and uh, so far, no issues. Um, so here's the final product of what we're going for there. Pretty consistent layer. Actually over here a little bit, now that I'm looking, was a little thick. Just dab it a little bit. Um, what I'm using is Permatex Ultra Copper Gasket Maker, uh, 81878. You can get it at any auto parts store. Some people do uh, no gasket maker. Some people just go completely dry. Some people use the uh, included gasket, the little piece of aluminum. Some people cut up aluminum cans and do it that way. Um, you can do this method with any of those. You can pair it with it. This is just a little extra reassurance. And I do direct metal to metal on uh, both of my nitros with uh, no issues. So I'll show you what I did wrong and kind of how to do it. So when I first started doing it, I would get it on there and just kind of go around the edge and paint it. Um, you can start that way, but it is the wrong way to do it. Um, normally I'll get some on my finger, go around like that. There is some going in that we'll have to clean up at the end, but uh, you just get it on there. Just keep going back and forth, up and down until it's a nice, even layer. The goal is you wanna be able to see through this and see a little bit of the uh, silver on the other side of it. So this is still way too thick. I put too much on here initially. So I'll grab paper towel. Definitely want a paper towel around handy. Wipe off your finger so more can stick to your finger. And just keep going. It's hard to do with this camera in front of me. Alright, so that's getting close. That might work, but I'm gonna take off a little bit more. Wipe off my finger, keep going. All right, that's looking good there. I actually think I might've taken off a little too much. I might add just a hair more here. Just a very small amount there. That's looking good. You can see through it everywhere. It looks like a nice, even layer. What I like to do when I'm at this point is you can see a little bit got pushed in and you don't want that in your engine. So I'll get a Q-tip. I've used a driver before. I just go around the inside. Clean it out. Put it under a nice bright light to look down in there to make sure nothing fell in there as well. All right, here's the final product with the inside cleaned out. Make sure there's nothing in there. Get in there with a the light, as I said, to look. And you'll do the exact same process for the engine side. And next step is you put your screws through and get the pipe on there with the screws and you, your goal is to get it just one time for the mating surfaces to touch. You don't wanna be messing around with the screws. Uh, this is the hardest part in my opinion because the screws are stripped out so I use a bolt on the other side to hold this on. Nothing wrong with that, but it makes it a little bit harder to get it on. Um, and I'll show you the final product here in a sec. All right, so I've got both screws on, um, was able to grab a little bit of thread so it held it on pretty tight for me here. So it held a little bit easier than I expected. Um, I like to put on a nylon bolt on the other side and I put it on uh, backwards so that it mates with this 50 pipe a little bit better than normal. Uh, once it gets up close, it was kind of angled before. With it reversed, it fits pretty well. 
Um, and I don't, you, you don't want to use Loctite on this. So what I'll do is I'll grab a little bit of There we go. God, this video is terrible. Just get a little bit of the sealer and I put it on the threads down in there and it acts as a little bit of Loctite that won't come off because the nylon will melt eventually and not hold. Loctite will turn to liquid with the temperature. Um, I'm gonna clean this up when I've got two hands, but you just wanna put a little bit down in there to uh, to grab onto the bolt and act as Loctite. All right, I've now got both the screws on with their nylon nuts upside down. It's a little bit of the gasket Loctite. What I usually do at this step is I'll go around and clean it up a little bit with a Q-tip, anything that oozes out a little bit on the side. I'll grab that. Pretty much like any gasket or something you wanna stay sealed, you get it, flush, not too tight, just up to the edge, and you'll tighten this one a little bit, you'll tighten the bottom one a little bit, this one a little bit, bottom one a little bit. You don't wanna over crank it because these pipes will strip very easy. As you can see, this one I have stripped and I'm using the nylon nuts. Um, go back and forth until they're reasonably snug. Um, and then after your first flight or two, once it's warm, um, you'll land it and immediately retighten both of them, just one more little tick and the pipe will stay on forever. There's no way that thing is going to come loose or start leaking in theory, but this is my method and uh, feel free to critique it, but this is what's been working for me. Okay.